It's an Indian inspired dish you're unlikely to find in India and its name has nothing to do with a cute furry animal being harmed in its preparation either. I'm talking about the humble bunny chow, a hollowed out loaf of bread filled with delicious lashings of curry that's become one of Durban's most famous exports and favorite cuisines. Restaurants compete every year to earn the coveted title of best bunny in Durban and this year, it's this tiny establishment at a garage in Chatsworth that's carried favour with judges. So what makes their bunny child the best of the best? Firstly, it was like this. It's a bread, um, the nice soft bread. Then it's the, um, the potato and also the quality of the meat that you use and also the masalas that you use. And, uh, and I think it's the little things like the salad and, and the dania that add some um, some uh, good appearance to the to the bunny shop. And the locals can't get enough. I came today and I'm definitely not being disappointed. And uh, like any good bunny child, if your nose is not running and your hands are dirty, then it's not a good bunny child. I may be surrounded by a smorgasbord of curries, but Gregory assures me that his mutton bunny chow really is the best in all the land. But the proof is in the tasting, so let's do this. Winner, winner, bunny chow dinner. Latasha and I do, Devin. So good. <laughs> Yeah.